May 9th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Tropical Storm Airy off the coast of Japan rolling past Fukushima. Now nobody's talking about um, it is just off the coast where all that radiation is whipping up all that rain and wind and blowing it right back onto the mainland of Japan right now so heads up and uh, pay attention. Earth Changes, Scott.net, Tropical Storm hits the Philippines, nine people dead. Tropical Storm Aries slammed into the eastern Philippine coast on Sunday, bringing heavy rains and landslides that have so far killed nine people and forced thousands to flee their homes. <sighs> United States, Mother's Day heat wave for Kansas. Uh, Kansas broke uh, 100 degrees, 104, I think uh, the Weather Channel was saying. And uh, a Mother's Day gift, winter storm warnings issues for Billing Region, Montana. So winter storm regions in Montana, record heat in Kansas, uh, not but a few hundred miles apart. A strong storm system expected to move across the region late Sunday, bringing rain to lower elevations and lots of snow to the mountains through Tuesday. The National Weather Service has issued a winter storm warning from midnight Sunday to 6 p.m. Tuesday. From one to two feet of snow may fall in the Absaroka and Beartooth Mountains, Bighorn Mountains, and Crazy Mountains. Hmm, might be a place to go visit. Go see the Crazy Mountains. U.S. historic floods along the Mississippi. No kidding. We have videos, videos, videos. Hawaii, heavy downpour causes problems on Oahu. And um, heavy rain not only put a damper on some outdoor activities this weekend in Hawaii, on Oahu it also caused problems on the roads Saturday morning. When heavy rain came down on the windward side, problems popped up. Um, yeah, it looks like some uh, cars got swept off the road, the heavy rain. Thailand, warnings of heavy rains in eight provinces. Then they've got a story, unlucky Arkansas town struggles from tornado and then flood. And of course this can be seen all the way through the Mississippi Valley into the Ohio Valley where we continue to have weather, weather, weather. And apparently they, they saved a couple of the pilot whales that stranded themselves off of Key West, uh, released them. Uh, more records flooding, spreading down the Mississippi River. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, this is the, the second time I've seen this story in about as many weeks. Climate change already de de decimating wildlife. Worse changes will follow. And this is a story out of Salmon, Idaho. A record number of big game animals perished this winter in parts of Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming from harsh season of unusually heavy snows and sustained cold in the northern Rockies. And um, yeah, they had a they had a severe cold winter, and these scientists are saying it's due to global warming, and uh, you should pay carbon tax on everything. Chihuahua, Mexico, four earthquakes in nine hours. Uh, they're asking the question, is a major quake on the way? And again, these little quake swarms seem to be popping up all over the place. And sometimes they hit, and sometimes they don't. It's always a big guess. Uh, fear peace. The tropical storm Aries lashes the Philippines. Uh, nine dead, 100,000 evacuated. And again, nobody's talking about this thing off the coast of Japan. And all that radiation. And... Uh, what it's throwing in the rain on Japan right now. Earthquake swarm builds at Yellowstone Caldera. Uh, Yellowstone quake notice over the last few days there's been a number of small quakes erupting at Yellowstone. Uh, the strongest one's been a 3.3 uh, blah 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 and uh, I've been watching this for over a year seriously and uh, quake swarms are not uncommon in Yellowstone. Uh, when we start having some big poppers, I will raise the alarm bells on Yellowstone, but it uh, just seems like another day in the neighborhood for old Yellowstone. 
more frequent whale strandings leaves experts puzzled with the with the magnet uh, it's a wonder they get anything done at all um, so with the magnetic fluctuations and all the beachings and uh, yeah they don't know what's going on explosions at miss growing unrest at uh, Santiago volcano in Guatemala and so we have another volcano eruption we're declared yellow alerts due to increasing activity in San Chito at volcano according to the National Institute for Seismology um, the increased manifested in the number of explosions per hour such explosions generate weak to moderate echoes that could be heard for 10 kilometers away and create constant avalanches of rocks on the south western and eastern slopes of the volcano I would call that erupting Mississippi River swallows land along its banks no kidding uh, 25 earthquakes recorded at Philippines Tal Volcano in 24 hours, and I've been reporting on this for a few weeks now. Uh, this big volcano is definitely gearing up to pop. And that's about all they have new today. Over to the watchers. Floods and landslides hit Java. Heavy flood losses in Barbados farmers. Um, big crop damage. Tropical storm area last the Philippines and significant bee colony losses are being reported in New Zealand. And um, they're still talking about pesticides and whatnot. And and my theory is, is is the way the magnetic field is fluctuating and the magnetosphere is so weak right now, and the bees are very very sensitive to these things that uh, that might be contributing, along with you know all these other factors. It's not just us doing this. Um, this is a cycle. And finally over to the RSOE today we have a <clears throat> excuse me, tropical storm in the Philippines of course um, volcano in Ecuador Colombia is continuing to have problems with um, weather and weather related issues, landslides, the works, that kind of thing. Um, the Philippines tall volcano Flooding in Brandon, province of Manitoba, Canada. Extreme weather in the Philippines, of course. Wildfire in Russia, east and western S Siberia. Volcano activity in Indonesia. Mount uh, Gamkenora volcano. Flash flooding in New Zealand on the North Island, Mount Albert. Um, forest fires, wildfires in Arizona, this, uh, the big drought area in the Fort Apache Indian Reservation. And that is about all I have for you today. Of course, uh, if I left anything out, please uh, let me know, leave your comments or post your videos below. Again, with all the silliness that's going on in the mainstream news right now, um, I might not be pulling so many punches so soon, so... Uh, definitely a heads up, and this is something nobody is talking about as far as uh, Tropical Storm Airy. And it's right off the coast of Fukushima as I'm recording this. And uh, all the radiation that we already know is just lingering off the coast of Japan. So fires in uh, Fukushima, they're toning down. Uh, TEPCO said it was uh, steam when uh, Leak Spinner put it out, and they were hardcore. That was definitely smoke number three reactor and you gotta remember that's where the MOX fuel is uh, there's a bunch of new uh, videos out on Fukushima I will be attaching those below of course and uh, what else, what else, what else um, enjoy what you can, thanks everybody